In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today we have been asked to have Our Lady of Knock because of devotion anyway to Our Lady of uh, Miraculous Medal. So I know many people have been to Knock. I haven't, so um, you're probably a better expert than I. In any case, uh, County Mayo. Um, Our, Lady didn't, Our Lady didn't speak at that point. You know, it was just uh, the presence with the Lamb of God, John. Uh, so it's just the uh, image was there, and the children said the Rosary, prayed together. So. We ask the Lord's mercy, acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you're the mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. You're the Son of God and the Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. You're the Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of Blessed Mary Ever Virgin come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, and free us from every danger, so that we may rejoice in your peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Reading from the book of Judges. The angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth at Ophrah, which belonged to Joash of Abiezer. Gideon, his son, was threshing wheat inside the winepress to keep it hidden from Midian, when the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, The Lord is with you, valiant warrior. Gideon answered him, Forgive me, my Lord, but if the Lord is with us, then why is it that all this is happening to us now? And where are all the wonders our ancestors tell us of when they say, Did not the Lord bring us out of Egypt? But now the Lord has deserted us. He has abandoned us to Midian. At this, the Lord turned to him and said, Go in the strength now upholding you, and you will rescue Israel from the power of Midian. Did I not send you myself? Gideon answered him, Forgive me, my Lord, but how can I deliver Israel? My clan, you must know, is the weakest in Manasseh and I am the least important in my family. The Lord answered him, I will be with you, and you shall crush Midian as though it were a single man. Gideon said to him, If I have found favour in your sight, give me a sign that that it is you who speak to me. I beg you, Do not go away until I come back. I will bring you my offering and set it down before you. And he answered, I will stay until you return. Gideon went away and prepared a young goat and made unleavened cakes with an ephah of flour. He put the meat into a basket and the broth into a pot then brought it all to him under the terebinth. As he came near, the angel of the Lord said to him, Take the meat and unleavened cakes, put them on this rock, and pour the broth over them. Gideon did so. Then the angel of the Lord reached out the tip of the staff in his hand and touched the meat and unleavened cakes. Fire sprang from the rock 
and consumed the meat and unleavened cakes, and the angel of the Lord vanished before his eyes. Then Gideon knew this was the angel of the Lord, and he said, Alas, my Lord, I have seen the angel of the Lord face to face. The Lord answered him, Peace be with you. Have no fear, you will not die. Gideon built an altar there to the Lord and called it, The Lord is Peace. The Word of the Lord. The Lord speaks peace to his people. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for his people and his friends, and those who turn to him in their hearts. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruits. <coughs> Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Please stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ was rich, but he became poor for your sake, to make you rich out of his poverty. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you solemnly, it will be hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Yes, I tell you again, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. When the disciples heard this, they were astonished. Who can be saved then, they said. Jesus gazed at them. For men, he told them, this is impossible. For God, everything is possible. When Peter spoke, what about us? He said to him, we have left everything and followed you. What are we to have then? Jesus said to him, I tell you solemnly, when all is made new and the Son of Man sits in his throne of glory, you will yourselves sit on twelve thrones to judge the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses, brothers, sisters, father, mother, children, or land for the sake of my name will be repaid a hundred times over and also inherit eternal life. Many who are first will be last and the last first. The Gospel of the Lord. Many of us, when you think about the story of Knock, we see kind of closest to uh, Lourdes, where Our Lady appears to be ordinary people. And uh, Knock, it was just ordinary people. They weren't even sure what they were seeing at first. They knew it was something special. And so phrase, the Lord chooses the weak and makes them strong and bearing witness to you. Hallelujah, we had there, Jesus Christ was rich, but he became poor for your sake. Make you rich out of his poverty. We are rich by his poverty. And the first reading there, we have Gideon. He says, how can we take on Manasseh? We are, we are the, uh, how can we take on our enemy? He says, well, we are the smallest of all the tribes. Midian, sorry, how can we take on Midian? And he says, how can I deliver my clan? You must know is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least important in my family. So the weakest tribe, and he's the least important in the family. You know, it's, a, it's, it's, it's if God seeks out the weak to confound the strong because we're used to strength, seeing things, not as God sees them, but the way we see them. Uh, and Pope Francis has brought this to the fore again by 
making cardinals from obscure countries that no one never had never had a cardinal before. He's making a real effort to make sure that we seek out uh, the weak, and find uh, their, to make sure they have their voice. And so, uh, perhaps for ourselves, then, I always ask, who am I ignoring? You know, who have I not asked? Who have I not spoken to? Do I just speak to important people, wealthy people? Or do I only speak to people of influence? Uh, rather than seeking out, as the Lord does in Gideon, smallest clan, when he's the least important member of the family, our lady appears not to the powerful in Dublin in the, the pale, the, the, he, our lady seeks out the children of young, young ones of Nock and give them, gives them her presence and her love. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice endures may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may, through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbour, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo our thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's end, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked in the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through whom the hosts of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly, willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
mercy, when the mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, excuse me. Together with Francis our Pope and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Mercy is all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Come, be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of delivery. Give us our trespasses. And forgive those who trespass against us. Who is not temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant to our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. In our bubbles, let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Glorious things are spoken of you, O Virgin Mary, for he who is mighty has done great things for you. Who is joining us through the internet? My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and the desire to see you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let's pray. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strength by the power of this sacrament she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace, which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory. Through Christ our Lord. I want you to sit down in a wee moment, but just before the novena, obviously, uh, James Doherty, uh, Croy, who's coming in this evening, the family have agreed to arrange the sanitizers afterwards. I want you to track and trace and sanitise. Um, coming at half past six, and the funeral mass is tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Um, obviously, the family will be at the front, so we'll just be ready for the, what, we, what you normally do without me telling you. But anyway, so it's just to say um, this evening, uh, the family asked about uh, um, maybe folk want to go to confession, so Father Harrison is going to come as well, so he'll be. In the kind of new confessional, as it were, in a fresh air one. <laughs> okay, in the summer, but I'm not so sure it's a good in the winter. But anyway, so and I'll be I'll, I'll be maybe here somewhere tonight. So that's after we receive um, rem mortal remains of James Doherty. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The Novena, in honour of Our Lady of the Miraculous Mena, Medal. Most Holy Virgin, I believe and confess thy holy and immaculate conception, pure and without sin. O most pure Virgin, through thy virginal purity, thy immaculate conception, thy glorious prerogative, Mother of God, obtain for us thy divine Son. Humility, charity, great purity of mind and body, the gift of prayer, a holy life, and a happy death. Memorari. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, that any would fled thy protection, implored thy help for certain session, was left unaided. In spite of this confidence, I fly into thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother, word incarnate, despite my petitions, in thy clemency. Continuing, O Immaculate Virgin, Mother of Mercy, Refuge of Sinners, by a wonderful revelation of St. Catherine, I promise that all who conflict the wear a miraculous medal, and repeat the prayer, O may you conceive without sin, pray for us of recourse to thee, we receive abundant graces, we encouraged by thy promise, come with the utmost confidence. To implore thy powerful intercession. Divina prayer. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ and our Mother, penetrated the most lively confidence, thy all powerful, never failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal. We, thy loving and trustful children, implore thee to obtain for us the grace and favours we ask you, Divina, with the benefit of our souls and souls of whom we now pray. Continuing, thou knowest, O Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of thy Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us then the deep hatred of sin, that purity of heart which attaches to God alone. With our every thought, word, and deed, we tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self denial, that we may recover by penance what we've lost by sin. At length, attain to that blessed abode. Have the miraculous mayor. Meryl there, please. O Virgin, Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to thee. May thy medal be a sure sign of thy affection for us, a constant reminder of duties towards thee. Ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by thy loving protection and preserve the grace of thy Son. O Virgin, most powerful, Mother of our Saviour, keep us close to thee in all of our lives. Obtain for us thy children, the grace of a happy death, within union with thee, we enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. 
O Mary conceived without sin. O Mary conceived without sin. O Mary conceived without sin. Or Pope Francis at this time. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Amen, Senior Bradley, Administrator of the Diocese. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. The sick of the parish. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. And just before the final blessing, how many do it more do we need to that? Oh, I need, we need to make up more of these. I'll get the Chancellor on to this. So we need ten or fifty or, or a hundred. Put your hand up if, you, if you're short of one. I went to 10 anyway, so I'll maybe double that and make it 30. <laughs> oh, right, so I'll get them made up. But I'll keep it with me, and that way I'll remember. The Lord be with you. May God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.